My blood sugar stays high after insulin injection. What should I do? There are a few possible reasons for this. Reason number one: took the wrong type of insulin. Some people took long-acting insulin like Lantus or Lavimir or Basaglar when blood sugar is high. Unfortunately, this will not help you right away, as it takes a long time for long-acting insulin to trickle into the body. If you want to get blood sugar down quickly, you need to take short-acting insulin. Some examples are Humalog, Novalog, Apidra, Fiasp, and regular insulin. Reason number two: not waiting long enough. Even for short-acting insulin, you will need to wait for at least four hours to see its full effect. If you check blood sugar ten minutes after injection. Probably you are not going to see any change in blood sugar. If you check blood sugar every 10 minutes and inject additional insulin whenever the number is high, your blood sugar will crash in a few hours. You can get into low blood sugar, and that's very dangerous. Reason number three: expired or inappropriately stored insulin. Make sure you look at the expiration dates before injection. Some people store insulin in their car, which I don't think is a good idea, as the temperature in car can be extreme. Make sure that you follow the storage instruction on the insulin box. Reason number four: incorrect injection technique. Some people forgot to push the air out of the pan before injection. And they end up injecting air instead of insulin. Some people pull the pan from their skin too soon. After you push the button all the way down, the needle needs to stay under the skin for at least five seconds. Also, there are two caps over the needle: a larger one on the outside and a smaller one on the inside. Some people forgot to remove the smaller cap, and they told me they never felt any pain and they loved the painless injection. If your blood sugar still does not come down after you rule out all those possibilities, then I think you can go ahead, get another shot of insulin, and go up on the dose of insulin for the same situation in the future. Please see my other videos on how to adjust insulin dose. However, always make sure you're using the glucometer correctly so the number is accurate.